Tonight, with its orange and black markings, the iconic monarch butterfly is well known here in Middle Tennessee, but their numbers may be dwindling. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature classified the species as endangered. News News Mary May spoke with local experts about what this means for the monarch population in Tennessee and what you can do to protect these butterflies. Known for their incredible long distance migrations, a lot of folks know about monarch butterflies. However, many are concerned about their numbers, including Kendall McCarter with the Tennessee Wildlife Federation. Well, the monarch butterfly has been on the on the radar for a while uh, to, in decline. A lot of conservationists have been sounding that alarm. And it's great to see this uh, recent designation from an inter international organization. Many do support the endangered designation coming from the Union for the Conservation of Nature, but there's still discussion about how much the numbers have actually dwindled. It's still kind of something that's debated, uh, but one thing I think's pretty well uh, been shown in the past, past couple of decades is that overwintering populations where they spend their winters have declined. I, th I think the controversy is that uh, some new data, and, and I shared one of those articles with you, is showing that they're rebounding very well during the summer months. And so we're not really seeing overall a big decline in, in monarch butterflies during the summer month, but there's not as many of them making it back uh, to their overwintering habitat. However, scientists and conservationists do agree that there are many challenges this species faces. We just got to be honest that, you know, as more and more people live on this planet and there's more buildings and more agriculture and, and more vehicles, that that's going to challenge some of our, our insects and other animals uh, a little bit more, and we have to be very aware of that. Habitat loss is one issue, but there's nothing you can add to your garden to help. Introducing milkweed can make a big difference. For us in Tennessee, we'll typically see them around the mid uh, summer, late summer, early fall time, and they'll come in and they'll be looking for milkweed to lay their eggs. Mary Mays, News 2.